Yeah. I like the, uh, I drew the, the right one a little bit thicker at the okay. base, but I like the left one a little bit You can more. adjust that. Yeah, when we're in there, we'll, we'll tweak it. So now you're gonna feel vibration, okay? A little vibration on your scalp. You got that? And then a couple injections, okay? There you go. So now what I do is I, I inject saline into the area to expand it, and it, what it does is it, it's called tumescence, and it pushes the follicles up, and it compresses the circulation below. There's less bleeding. You're not feeling any of this, right? What I do is I do I do the whole outline for like I start on the on the lateral aspect and then I work my way in slowly, do the whole outline, and then I start on the inside and then just fill in as I go back. Right there in the corner, do you see that yeah. right there? I want to add like two right there okay. to mimic that. Just a few that are like straight up because these are like it. Yep. perfect. So we just finished. What do you think? Oh my god, they look awesome. It didn't hurt at all. Oh, oh good. I'm so happy. Took a nap. The best rest I've gotten in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they look beautiful. Thank you. So instruction-wise, basically you don't touch them for eight days. Okay. Uh, you wash around your face. You don't let the shower spray hit your eyebrows. We put Vaseline on them. They're, it's going to be slightly annoying, but it will protect them against infection. Okay. Apply a little bit of Vaseline to the sutures once a day, and we'll see you back in a week for checkup. Okay, so when can I put any makeup or anything? You can wear makeup starting tomorrow. I just want you to keep the makeup below your below your eyes, basically. Nothing above your eyes. A little bit 
on your forehead, but just don't go anywhere near the eyebrows. And then you said that some of the hairs will start to fall out and then they'll regrow. When can I expect that to happen? Exactly. So after about a week, eight days, you're going to start washing normally and then the scabs will fall off with the hairs. You okay. should end up losing most of the eyebrow hairs we've put in over the next three or four weeks, and that's normal. Okay. And then they'll start to regrow at about 10 to 12 weeks. You'll be seeing about three quarters of the result at five to six months, and then the full result at about eight to nine months. I'm Dr. Kat Bogovic, a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon, and I'm two weeks post-op after having an eyebrow transplant with Dr. Dower. The reason why I wanted to get an eyebrow transplant is because in addition to being a plastic surgeon, I'm photographed a lot, I do a lot of filming, and it was extremely time consuming to have to paint and put powder on my eyebrows every single day. And so the eyebrow transplant has been really great in terms of saving time, making it super easy for me to make sure I look really polished. So far, it's been really great. It was been a really easy recovery and I'm super happy with the results.